So another edit that we have to make to our road corridor is we want to uh, add in some super elevation along our, our corridor. Uh, we're not too concerned about these curves over here, but we're definitely concerned, concerned with this one. Uh, we want to put a pond here, so what we want to do is be able to capture this uh, flow off the road uh, along this curve and, it's, and dump it this way. Uh, we've got a ditch coming down here where we'll have a catch basin that will catch the water and, and push it over to uh, the pond over on the inside of our uh, of our site over here. So um, I've exaggerated my, my surface there quite a bit so you can see that we have the crown of the road and what we want to do is we want to super elevate this so that it banks into the uh, site. So there's two things that you need to do to, to make this work. One is you have to define the super elevation on the template and, uh, as well as the uh, alignment. So starting with the alignment, we'll go in and edit this alignment. And on the super elevation tab, you can see that you can add the super elevation to the entire road. So we could do it on each curve. We're only going to be concerned with this one curve here that starts at uh, station 1362. So right in here is where that curve starts. Our normal cross slope is a 2% and we've got a 4% is going to be our maximum. All right. So as soon as I you know, tab through that, it's going to do the calculation. It's going to give me my begin elevation transition, my maximum super elevation, and my end max super elevation. So you can control where along this curve you want these uh, transitions to happen. So what we're going to do is we're a little bit tight here, but we want to start the super, let's say we want to start it somewhere right around 1300. So we'll just click that and put that in at that location. The begin max super will be max super as we get into the curve. The end is fine. And then we'll end the curve before we get into the other curve somewhere in here we'll go back to normal crown so again i'm just arbitrarily throwing these in here obviously through um, you know different parameters you'll have different uh transition lengths and and whatnot you know depending on what you're trying to design but this is just to show the main uh functionality of the super elevation piece so now that we have that we still don't, hasn't super elevated we have to go into the template that is controlling this alignment through here so what I'm going to do is go into edit this template and what we need to do is if we look uh, down around uh, 1300, so we'll get down into that area here, actually we'll just do it this way and we'll come into here, you'll see we're in normal crown. So we got a 2% and 2% on either side. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up to this first section here and we're going to add in an instruction. The instruction is going to be super elevation. It's going to pivot around the crown. Um, that's our, our crown node. And we're going to pivot around the crown. And the node that we're going to super elevate is node 3. So we'll add that one. And we'll put we'll click add there. And that's going to put an instruction right below the main road. And then we'll also do it for the other side. So I've got that one in. And then for the main road, uh, same thing. We're going to add in 7. So we'll add that one in. And now we've got that alignment in as well. So now that we've done that one, notice how seven is now super elevated based on the parameters that we assigned in our uh, alignment. So as I scroll back, you can see we go back to our normal crown. Right around 1300, we start to transition up into super. We're at our full super at the curve. And then as we go through the curve, we're coming back down, uh, back to normal crown, back into that other road. So again, now that we've got that adjusted, we can click build surfaces and now it's going to rebuild our finished design surface that our road is, is tying into. And now you can see in our slope arrows of where the water is being sloped into the side of the road. So now we're bringing it and pushing it over that way. So that's how we add the super elevation to the corridor.